Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we stand on, the Gadigal people. As of this moment, I am disappointed to report that the Prime Minister and the Opposition Leader of Australia have not referred to the 1915 to 1923 massacres against the Armenian, Assyrian and Greek people for what it was, a genocide. In fact, in this year's statement, whilst we have announced that there is progress on this issue, we received today's statement with some new words. I will, I will mention some of those words to all of you today. Massacres, expulsion, words that we've heard before in previous statements where there have been progress. Dispossession, deportations, death, and a referral to the Ottoman Empire. He even called it one of the greatest crimes in modern history. Let me repeat that again. Our Prime Minister called the Armenian, Assyrian and Greek genocides one of the greatest crimes against modern history. Mr. Prime Minister, all of these words do not make up for the one word that matters. Opposition leader, the Armenian, Assyrian and Greek communities demand your statement recognizes what happened to our people as genocide. Mr. Prime Minister, the opposition leader, let it be clear, any elected candidate that relies on the support of the Armenian, Assyrian and Greek communities must use the word genocide. Any candidate who requires and relies on the support of the Armenian community must be a friend of Artsakh. We must end this cycle of genocide because the people here, the people at home watching this march, the Armenian, Assyrian and Greek communities in Sydney, in Melbourne, in South Australia, in Victoria, who are relying upon for their vote, demand that the Prime Minister and the opposition leader say the only word that matters, genocide, recognize. mention that over the years it is our unanimous united support our three communities the Armenian Assyrian and Greek communities the joint justice initiative that we've established the joint justice initiative which has culminated in the signatories of 40 federal parliamentarians these protests that we hold together that show and demand from the Prime Minister that he must use this word genocide there is progress on this issue. My call to each and every one of you, do not stop now. We will not relent and we will ensure that the word genocide is used in any elected parliamentarian and prime minister's statement going forward. Thank you very much.